people's dreams never end. That's our way out of this. I think this zombie arc is concluding in this episode because this will be the third episode that we've been here. It's time to go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens in this episode with the boss in its second phase. No way there's a third phase, right? This isn't, this isn't Dark Souls or anything. <laughs> I'm going to start the episode after a countdown. Three, two, one, play. Whoa, that's really loud. I wonder if they're going to kill Spoil or capture it. And if they do kill it, what happens to the world? Does that affect the world if Spoil is gone? Yeah, last episode was sad with the teacher. Right, I do want to see more of Shen's abilities. What number is Shen at? To be the greatest in all of creation. What's his number? Somewhere in the 50,000s? Oh, they cut away again. I still don't know then. Spoil brought its face near Foucault earlier, but she didn't start to spoil. <laughs> so that picture of it looked funny. <laughs> Again. Oh. Does it extend? It's like the Hokage's monkey staff from Naruto, which I think is like the monkey staff from that legend, Monkey King or something. Artifact, Noi Kinko staff. Excavated from China, this is a bow staff, can extend and contract at will. Okay, that's cool. I want one. It's an artifact. An artifact, and the book is also an artifact. Does the staff speak? Billy has a target. Okay, which was the target to perform the opposite of any action it was trying to make? Okay, so opposites. Okay. Any conscious thought that enters the target's mind is negated. Okay. So it's not like Tsunade versus Kabuto. Kabuto just figured it out and swapped. He figured out what limbs to move to get back to normal. So that won't work with this because that's thought. Really, how do you counter Shen? And you can't even do the opposite because that's also a thought, right? I 
<laughs> it's a glitch. <laughs> oh, that face. Untruth? I may finally be able to see him. Victor. Victor? Vic Victor or Victor? Okay, that face from Shen just now, he looked kind of like a villain. So it, maybe, what does he mean? I can finally, I might be finally, I might be able to see him. Untruth? I don't think untruth is Shen's ability. I think it's whoever Shen wants to meet. Who is that? Not someone among the ten warlords. Somebody else. The person at the top? We don't know that many characters yet, so that's that's all I got. <laughs> hmm. Might be able to meet that person. Untruth. What's untruth? Liar? Usopp. <laughs> Hmm. On one hand, we've had a lot of information told to us in the last few episodes, but also still feels like there's so much to this world that I don't know yet, and that's fine. Yeah, I don't, where I am right now, I don't think I'm supposed to understand everything yet, so that's okay. Bacteria in the air. Bacteria needs moisture. Reduce the amount of moisture in the air. Where's Nami with her staff? Oh, explosions. Okay, we don't need Nami then. <laughs> she slapped him anyway. <laughs> Food tastes good. Oh, it's good to eat. <laughs> that surprised me. He fell down. <laughs> was is he? That was. Maybe, maybe the whole ground is going to break? It destroyed the buildings. I see. It's using the dust clouds to obstruct my vision. Oh, is that how you counter Shen? The counter to my ability. Ah, okay. Right, sight. I should have seen that. What's that? Purple dust? What about space? Can you toss him into space like Omni-Man? Or no, not Omni-Man. Was it um, Immortal? He just f threw people into space, right? I could lift both you and spoil up to space if you'd like. But since you'll be traveling together, you'll need to endure his spoil ability until you reach space. Why don't you pull that card out? I bet the old you could endure it, right? Yeah. We haven't seen him unlock that in a while. 100 years. Why does he have to fling Andy as well? He can't use the staff to just lift the spoil? The 
They'll probably explain later why Andy has to go to space as well. Oh. Okay, okay. I thought Shen meant he had to use the staff to get Andy and the spoil up there, but that makes sense. It's just the staff. So Andy, wow, what are the limits for the staff? Yeah, he goes off the rails. What's the limit to the staff? Well, if it's explained later, don't tell me, but that's just something that I'm wondering about right now. Standing on that on that is so cool. So if if Andy just drifts off into space with no oxygen and all that, can he die? Maybe he's tried that already. Spoil. <laughs> Ooh, black hair. He looks like Gajil now. Before he looked like Elfman, and now he looks like Gajil, or maybe, um, not Gajil. Acnologia? Ooh. Ooh, Division Bullet. Oh, he can clone him or regenerate, and it's kind of like clones. I didn't know he could do that. Okay, so he's cutting spoil. A little fun. So the sword and spoil are falling back to earth. And Andy is up there. So have the numbers vanished from their stomachs? Oh, are they going to stick around to bury the people? Because there's sad music, that's all I'm guessing. Yeah, the kids don't need to see that, if that's what I think's happening. Mail and D. <laughs> okay, spoil. So they do capture spoil. Wait, so he regenerated? Why, why did he regenerate? Why didn't he just fall down too? Why did he cut off his arm and then throw the arm down and then regenerate? Got a lot of scars. Huh, more than before. Huh, <laughs> lots happening as usual. Trying to process it. Did he lose memories or something? Okay, so maybe they were sticking around to, to deal with Andy, not to bury the bodies. August 24th, 
half decent lineup here. He's a different person. Does he have multiple personalities because he's lived so long? No matter what you do, I can't die. Is this like Gintama with um, the sensei has got an evil side and a good side? And he's looking for a way to die? Oh, that's Victor? Victor. Tor. Okay, whoa. Okay, I'll go back later to... Oh. Oh, ouch. Ouch. I'll go back and read that definition later. And he can heal, right? So it doesn't really matter. Okay, is Shen dying here? Shen's arm is broken and he's got shot just now. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to work. Is nothing happening? If it's not working, I wonder how. So I see. I think that flash is him remembering. Use bodily contact to induce strokes of unluck, the force of which fluctuates based on how well you like the target. Meteorite, volcano, pathetic. Did you think I would succumb to such a paltry rule? Rule? Okay, now I see what you were up to while I was locked away. If she were to die right now, would you fall into it? So he's talking to the Andy that we know. Rules are absolute. No matter what happens, I won't. I saw the power of human potential. What well, I lost today ended up being a fantastic day. How how is he spinning like that? Huh? Oh, eight cycle mountain strike. Stalling for time. Okay. Oh. The portal. Okay, the 10 warlords or eight of them. No, seven, seven of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. I feel like the episode's about to end. Ten in total, huh? Parts, bullet, fingers. Shields. Oh. 
Okay. Ricocheting bullets. This shield setup isn't just defensive, but it's also preparing a defense. Oh, it got sliced in half. Okay. When the cut sections are burned. Oh, I didn't know that. Right, he was the one experimenting. So if he's burned. Burned, but he... He's, he was hit by a meteor and like explosions. Wouldn't that be burning as well? And he regenerated pretty quickly, right? Okay. Amateur at combat. Unchange. It's going to end, isn't it? Can Shen still use his ability? He's awake, right? Yeah. Suzuku. Okay, there were a few things I wanted to go back and rewatch. In the previous episodes, when Andy was fighting the giant monster, he was trying to slice him, right? But why couldn't he slice him in previous episodes? Was he just not strong enough until he took out the limiter chip thingy and then he was strong enough to slice him in space? Or was it because he had to go up in space and then that changed things a little bit and then he was able to slice him into pieces. I want to know how long that staff can extend but if it's going to be explained later don't tell me. I'm just saying it's something that I want to know. We still didn't get to see the complete number after Shen declared his dream. It kind of cut away so at least 50,000 something. Andy falling that was pretty funny. <laughs> I did not expect that. So I'm guessing Andy can survive just floating in space because he probably would have tried that by now. So this long hair version of Andy reminds me of the sensei from Gintama and how he lived for a long time and had these multiple personalities, like an evil one and then the good sensei. He was also like immortal. <laughs> and the hair reminds me of Gagio or Acnologia from Fairy Tail. I was surprised that Andy could use the staff because I just kind of assumed that it was Shen's weapon, like only the person can use it. But I guess, I guess these artifacts can be used by anybody. And I wonder if the staff can talk, like the book. Don't tell me, because I don't know that yet, and maybe I'm not supposed to know yet. It's interesting that when he changed into his long hair, uh, long black hair form, he got new, new scars, old scars? Old scars reappeared. Why? I'm just a bit confused. Like, why would they not? always be on his body if there's scars. I guess that's just to show when he's one version and when he's not the Andy that we know. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why. Just add more to his different character design, right? <laughs> and again, I'm still confused. Why does he even have scars if he can regenerate? But that's okay. We'll probably learn that later. Division Bullet is... That's crazy because before this, I didn't know that he could make clones of himself and they regenerate that's that's so powerful like how many clones can he do like kage <laughs> yeah the clones can fly they can regenerate okay so the two disintegrated he cuts off the arm okay so this part is confusing to me he cuts the arm off the sword spoil and the arm fall down so is his other version still up there with the is it a yuma or 
artifact, the, the clothing one, I forgot what it is, but the clothing one is on the one that's in space, if he's still there, unless that one disintegrated and then the clothes are just floating in space, dying. And then because he, the arm regenerated when it hit the ground. So I'm guessing there can only be one main one at a time, right? Like he can have the clones, but they have to disintegrate eventually. And he can choose which one to be his main form, right? So I'm guessing if he regenerated from the hand that fell down, does that mean he he disintegrated the version of himself that's wearing the clothes in space? Maybe. That's, that's what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll probably see in the next episode if he's still floating in space or not. Can he just, can he have multiple versions of himself? Can, is the one in space going to do something else? I don't know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me be wrong. Originally, I thought, why is he cutting the arm off if he's going down to Earth anyway? He might as well just fall down too, right? Unless he's, unless he wants to be in space for a while to do something. Or is it to leave the clothes up there and then disintegrate and then regenerate from the arm below and the clothes are left up there? Because I guess he doesn't want the clothes. <laughs> Maybe he feels more free without them. When he cuts his arm off and the arm spoil and sword fall down, he says, let's have a little fun, which sounds, seems like he's going to stay up in space and do something. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> the part with sending off the kids, uh, my mind was like, oh, it's it's dark. Like they have to stay behind to bury the bodies of all these people. But nah, they were just getting them out of the way so then they can have this battle and take care of Andy or not Andy. Uh, Victor, 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 I don't know. Never mind about the clothes. I think he regenerated the clothes too. Um, I didn't know he could do that, but it seems like he's regenerated with clothes on. He's got pants, the shoes, and maybe a shirt that's wrapped around his waist. Is that the Yuma or whatever, the artifact, the Yuma or whichever one it was? He can regenerate that? Or is it something else? Did he, how did he regenerate? Because he regenerated from the arm. How did he regenerate clothes too? Am I nitpicking? <laughs> okay, black-haired Andy has just regenerated his uh, body from the hand that fell back down to earth with a sword. And I'm just a bit confused because he regenerates clothes as well. And is that the Yuma? Because he, he seems to, re he regenerated clothes. I just saw it. Because usually when Andy regenerates, he's just naked, right? It'll probably be explained in the next episode. <laughs> yep, so they've captured Spoil. Why did he want to know what day of the week it was? Do they not have days of the week on the calendar? Okay, I remember them saying like, oh, you have to be at the beach at this day. But I don't remember if they said like Monday, Tuesday, whatever. So maybe there are no stars and there are no days of the week specifically? Right, so the Andy that we know is trying to kill this Andy. And every time he gets that zap, that's him remembering our Andy's memories. God of victory, Victor. Okay, I'm reading the definition now. Victor, noun, one that defeats an enemy or opponent, winner. I am not Thor, a god. I see. So he he's not... Thor, a Norse god of thunder, weather, and crops. Okay, I see. So I should be calling him Victor, not Victor. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Shen's arm. Ouch. Both, both of Shen's arms are broken. Yeah, like he's really strong and he has regeneration. That's, that's terrifying. So Fuko touched him and there was no unluck. I don't know why but I don't think I'm supposed to know why right now. So don't spoil that for me. I get it that he's really powerful, but I don't understand why the unluck just doesn't work. <laughs> this spinning attack at 18.43, 18 minutes, 43 seconds, this spinning thing that Shen is doing, how is he doing that? He's just hovering in the air, spinning. His head is in one spot. Like... <laughs> I'm imagining like everything below the neck is spinning, but his head is stationary. <laughs> How? <laughs> uh, 
And then he just kind of like, it's like Kiba from Naruto. Katsuga. <laughs> he just dives towards, he dives towards Victor. <laughs> That's exactly like Katsuga. <laughs> okay, but he didn't hit him. He just landed in front of him. Eight cycle mountain strike. Ouch, with his broken arms. He did that with his broken arms? Wow. I'm looking forward to seeing the seven fight. I'm interested in the guy that uses guns. I feel like it. he has to have some sort of power that's more than just, oh, he has good aim. Is it the, the bullets? Are they special? Is it something that he has a special ability, like he can't miss? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I see you. What's his name? The boy that's like, he's got, um, was it Phil? No, why am I? He's hovering there. He's sitting on air. The boy with the green hair, he's got the, the limbs that make him look like he's from Death Parade. He's, he's sitting on air. That's, hopefully that's not an error, right? In the animation. He's sitting on air on the left side of the robot or the, the sphere, not a robot because she's inside. Also, I noticed that the guy in the suit, the one that was called an amateur fighter, their sword seems to be bent. Or is it a, a spear? I don't know. Yeah, just the boy. He's sitting on air. <laughs> Didn't see that in my first watch through. He can choose where to regenerate. Yeah, he's sitting in air. I can see it again. At 21 minutes, 26 seconds, he's sitting on air. Unless it's not air. He's sitting on something invisible. Now nah, it's probably air. <laughs> the kid, the, the, not the other kid. What was his name? Does it start with a T? On the left of the kid sitting on air. He kind of looks like Hitsugaya from Bleach because of the white hair. So he compliments them, which means they must be really strong. And that's where it ends. Okay, I'm glad I rewatched that again. I'm still very confused about a lot of things, but that's okay. I don't think I'm supposed to understand everything where I'm at right now, and I'm sure the show will gradually explain everything. I was surprised by uh, Andy's transformation. I did not predict that at all, like another personality. Um, definitely, yeah, it still reminds me of the sensei from Gintama. That's okay, though. How are they going to fight him? I feel like he's really strong. I think if Andy could have taken over his own body again, he would have done it by now. So does that mean they're going to have to beat him up unconscious until our Andy comes back? He seems really powerful. I don't know how they get out of this. Shen, is he going to be able to heal fully? I feel like he's he's hurt pretty bad. What if he can't do his martial arts after this? I don't know. And I'm still curious why Foucault's unluck didn't work. But don't tell me if you know why, because I don't know why and I'm not supposed to know yet. I'm looking forward to the next episode. Thank you for watching with me. Hope to see you in the next one.